Hello, hello everyone. Let me see here. Let me. Hi everybody. It is almost July if you can believe it. It is June 30th. Hello for joining me for a little stitch with me tonight. Um, this is going to be super informal, so not going to be like my card making lives or anything like that. I mean, I planned out a little bit, but I figured if I was going to stitch anyway, and I'm sorry I am got my little square in a square, that's for when I flip the camera around. I just don't know how to get rid of it when I'm facing you here. Um, but uh, it's just going to be some little stitch with me. I'm going to try to answer some of the questions I've gotten a lot in my floss tube videos. So if you're here, um, if you saw me going live and you're like, what in the world is Nicole doing? I am cross stitching tonight. We're not card making. <laughs> um, we'll be card making tomorrow morning. Um, but I absolutely love to cross stitch and I have heard from so many of you guys that you like to cross stitch. So I thought that we would just stitch a little bit together this evening. Um, please, while, like I said, super informal. Um, I'm kind of, I didn't know if anyone would show up. So thank you guys for showing up. I was really nervous about this. Um, but leave comments. If you want to know something or if I need to zoom in closer or if I'm too close or whatever, you guys let me know. Um, I'm going to be showing stitching in hand. Um, I did pick a couple of free thing, free charts to, to kind of stitch with in case I have to show the chart because I can't show a paid for chart um, on the screen. Um, but I'm going to show a couple of different charts. Normally I would just stitch one thing in an evening, but I wanted to show a couple different fabrics. I'm going to show stitching in hand. I'm going to show stitching two over two. I know for a lot of you this is going to be, you know, repeat. So just stitch along and, and help the new gals who are stitching. And like I said, I will just try to answer uh, questions as we go. I saw Cheryl said uh, that I received a nice shout out from Java Girl Stitches. Yes, I've actually talked to her through email um, and told her thank you because I watched her video and I was like, oh my gosh. So thank you guys. I hope you love her channel. She does such beautiful finishes. I find them super inspiring. So hello everybody. Hi Karen. Karen, I just saw your comment that said you finished your little Halloween stitch you were working on. I'm so excited. Maybe on our craft weekends we can stitch some in the evenings after we've card made made cards all day or whatever. Um, let's see. Hello, Jennifer and Dawn. For everyone I haven't said hi to, hello. So if you are stitching tonight, drop what you're stitching in the comments. Yes, two over two, Cheryl says. Um, I think I'm going to start, let me see. I'm gonna just see if I have anything. Sean says, I'm trying to convert to sewing in hand, so so happy you're going to help us out. I'm gonna show you how I do it on 14 count, and I'm gonna show you how I do it um, on 25 count Lugana. And the 25 count Lugana, no matter if you're stitching, you know, 28, 32, either, you know, linen or whatever, um, it's going to be the same thing. So uh, the Lugan is just, is a little bit bigger. So I hope that it shows a little bit better on screen. Plus I really like stitching on that size. Hello, yes. So um, again, we're stitching tonight. I just wanna let you guys know, no card making tonight, just in case some people are clicking on because I saw I was live. Uh, card making is tomorrow morning. Card making live. Card making's every day, but card making live is tomorrow morning. Oh, Susie says she's stitching Spellbinders dies. I'm so tempted to get some of those. They're so pretty. Even though I said I wasn't going to stitch on my cards. <laughs> That's probably a lie. Um, hello, Julia and Susie. Oh, fun. Okay, um, most of you probably... Since you're here, you've probably seen it, but I do want to remind you that on my latest floss tube, I do have some giveaways and they're pretty good ones. Um, so if you're interested in any of them, definitely leave a comment because I will be picking those first thing Saturday morning. So that giveaway will close. Um, oh, they are 
July 4th nails. My nail girl, her name is T and she does my nails and I literally said I want patriotic nails and this is what she did for me and I love them. She's so, she's so good. I love her. I've been going to her for about three years now and I mean, you just get to know someone and we, it's just, I love her. She's fantastic. Ooh, yay, Amanda, that is one I'm gonna stitch tonight. I'm gonna stitch on my uh, Bonnie and Camille quilting bee. So yes, yay, I love that you're doing that. Joyce and Christ says she found Java Girl. Oh good, I'm so glad you like her. She's really wonderful and she's just always so positive. Um, she and I like a lot of the same stitches and stitching type patterns and stuff and then she just inspires me. She's really inspired me to think about, you know, finishing some of my things as I finish the stitch to do something fun with them. Yes, I'm, Jeanette says, glad to get to chat. Yay. Michelle says, walking my dogs. Yeah, Odin didn't get a walk today, so I'm sure he's kind of sad. Although we mowed, Ethan and I mowed here a little bit ago and um, well, Ethan mostly mowed. I supervised and <laughs> Odin was out bouncing along beside him as he was mowing. Maybe that was his walk today. <laughs> Um, oh no, Dawn, you're still waiting for your cortisone shot to kick in. I was hoping it might have kicked in by now. <gasps> Yay, Jennifer, you got your giveaway in the mail. I love that. Hello, Kim. Yes, okay. Ooh, month to month, August. Julia, I almost picked that for tonight, but I picked, I need to finish my heartfelt stitch along. Okay. Oh, good. Dawn just subscribed to Java Girl. That is awesome. Definitely please um, subscribe to some of these great floss tubers. I find them so inspiring. It's so fun. And I can't tell you how many... Ugh, sorry. I don't usually sit, but I don't think I can stand to stitch. Um, I can't tell you how many fantastic patterns I found from floss tubers. All right. Shall we get some started doing some stitching? That's what we're here for. Let me see. Okay, this is really why I, I, I know you guys can't see, but this is why I have that little square because I thought it would be fun if you could see me and while I'm talking maybe and then obviously see me stitch. So if you've watched my floss tubes, this is the heartfelt stitch along from Fat Quarter Shop. This is free. They do ask for a donation to make a wish, which I think is, you know, very nice and I love to be able to help support that, but it's completely free. If you've watched, you know I'm not stitching it in the colors at all. I completely made up my colors. Now, ouch, okay, I have to move something, sorry. Um, so one of the things I get asked a lot is if I plan out the colors since I made the color change and I'm only using five colors, I, didn't, I do not. I literally just kind of look at it and pick out of my five colors to stitch. So stitch in, stitching in hand. I was taught to stitch in a hoop, but I have not stitched in a hoop in quite some time. I'd like to say I started stitching in hand maybe six, seven years ago when I kind of picked it back up maybe. Um, for me personally, it's because I like to do the sewing method and that's how I can stitch so much quicker. So um, we're just going to get started. When I stitch in hand, you can see I kind of wad it up like this. If it's a big, big piece of fabric, I will kind of roll it and you can always clip it or whatever, but this isn't too terrible big for me. So I just kind of hold it in my hand just like this. So I need to start here. I'm going to move my pattern up so I can see what I need to do. I think I simply need to do, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I am just going to finish stitching this half of the heart. And Linda says, what would you recommend for a newbie starting out? I would, st okay, there is a great series at fatquartershop.com, which is like their cross stitch university and they have videos. Plus they have like a little easy stitch, but I would also maybe pick, um, I would pick maybe a stitch along, something kind of small. They have several of them. They have several of them starting. Let me see. Hello, Jane. 
She Oh, Partridge in a Pear Tree from Liz Matthews is beautiful. I've seen a couple of other people do that. Hello. Okay, I am afraid my chat is going by here. And I don't want to miss any questions, so I'm going to check super quick before I start stitching. Oh, how fun. Joyce and Christ is stitching Cat's Dream. It's a cute fluffy kitten sleeping on books and it's a Christmas gift for her daughter in college. I love that. Studio L stitching Lori Holtz so she could. Oh, I love that. And also cleaning my desk. I did that today too. Um, yay, love it. Um, so Linda, I hope that kind of helps. For starting out, literally, I think the thing that helps the most is if you see a pattern that you absolutely love, um, that helps. Don't try, don't do something just because you see other people doing it or whatever and you think that that's what you should do. I find the most inspiration I get is when it is a chart or a pattern and I'm like, oh my gosh, I must do that. But maybe something on the smaller size just to kind of get the feel and get started. Oh, good. Lisa says it's Canada Day tomorrow so she can watch the live. I love it. Okay. If I miss your question, please just ask it again. Do, 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 do. And what fabric are you stitching on with this pattern, Beatrice says. Um, I am stitching on 14 count Ada by Fabric Flare. It's called Pale Gray Gingham. I will tell you, anything I'm going to stitch tonight, I did try to put uh, links to the pattern, whether they're free or paid, uh, links to the fabric, and a few other things down in the description. So hopefully that helps. Susie says, tell us about your pattern holder. Oh, this is the Lori Holt stitchy stand. I will show it really quick and then we're gonna stitch. So it just, usually I am stitching in front of the TV and I have a little lap desk and I set this on it. And then I do have like a magnet board in here if I have anything that doesn't stand up very good, which right now I have a million things in here. I don't normally, <laughs> I normally have one piece of paper, um, but I really like it. I keep my scissors. I kind of keep this little floss fairy wand. I had to unpick or frog a whole bunch of stuff today in my Halloween this morning, in my morning stitching. Okay. Yes, Cheryl says she's starting the month to month and it's kind of a starter project. I would agree with that. I really like that one too. Oh, how fun. And Beatrice says, do you find this cloth stiff? Um, I, at first, I wish I had a new piece. I probably do in the other room. I don't want to go get it right now. Um, but stitching in hand, see how flexible it is? I find that it really does... Um, kind of soften up over time. I really feel like the more you touch it, the softer it gets. This is really good. I This is one of my personal favorite 14 count Adas. Okay, I am just gonna start on the, I pu you noticed I pulled up from the back. I'm just gonna get it started here. Kind of traditional. I know, I think there's like something called the loop method. I don't do that to start. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm just old school well, where I catch my threads on the back and then just stitch over them a couple times. But I will show you what the sewing method is for anyone who's curious. I will say I think stitching in hand takes a little bit to get used to. When I first started I think it kind of hurt my hand. But now I can, I tried to stitch in a hoop when I was trying to stitch on a linen that I didn't end up loving. And I don't like hoops. Okay, I think we've got it caught now. So the sewing method. I don't actually come up from the back anymore unless I have to. Well, I'm going to have to one more time. I think my ends are still there and I don't want to pull them to the front of the fabric. Okay, I'm going to go down and I'm just going to come up all from the front of the fabric. And you will see that 
it's going to be a little hard and awkward for me because this is I don't normally stitch on camera and I'm trying to stay in the camera. Hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, Lynn, I am so jealous. You were able to take a quilt class and an English paper piecing class from Lori Holt at your local quilt store. That sounds amazing. I love it. Oh, that Robin has a good suggestion for a starter uh, project. She said the sleigh ride with Fat Quarter Shop. It's a new chart. It's small, and that would be a good one. She's absolutely right. That's a great suggestion. Thank you, Robin. Oh, Jungle, um, is it Jungle Baria? I probably say that wrong. But just started first cross stitch project and obsessed. It is so easy to get obsessed. For sure. Julia says she stitches uh, right to left and not left to right. It's how her mom taught her years ago. So I will tell you, depending on my whole goal is to not start and stop a whole lot when I with the same color, obviously. So if I need to, I will go back the other way. And I find I like it. I think it's actually really easy. So I am literally, my finger is kind of back here. I do have, sometimes my finger gets sore. I do have these little rubber grip things I got from Fat Quarter Shop a while ago. I don't use them every time, but if you do find that you're poking your finger a lot and it gets sore, those do help. And every once in a while when I'm stitch crazy and my finger hurts from poking it, I uh, will use those. And then here in a little bit, obviously this is the 14 count Ada and I wanted to just show how you can stitch in hand and do the sewing method on it, but I will move on. I'm going to show you a start because that is a question I've gotten a few times is how to start. So I'm going to start something and then I will probably stitch on the 25 count Lugana after that. Let me see, hello. Hi everybody. Yes, the sewing method, I just give it a little bit. Um, I do find sometimes, I don't know what it is, like I find that my thread really gets twisty and I just, you know, untwist it. Hold my fabric up, hold the needle, let the needle fall, all that good stuff. And then I simply go back the other way or go another line, I guess I should say. The stitching method is my favorite. I literally feel like that's probably why I can stitch so quick because I'm not coming, you know, constantly going to the other side of the fabric. Okay. Oh no, hand surgery. Your whips are on hold, Jen. I hope that you have a very speedy recovery. That is no fun. Shelly says she's done a few small projects but would like to get started again. Just start. That was me. I So I will say I was cross-stitch obsessed like 20 some years ago. And I did quite a few things. Um, I've actually, I actually made a couple things for my parents so they don't, those aren't here where I can show them or anything. Um, and then I made a few things. I've showed you guys a few things, but it just went by the wayside and I found I needed something that allowed me some relaxation, I guess, in the evening where I just, the repetitive motion is relaxing to me and something where that doesn't take me out of the room with my family, um, and I have a hard time, I, I've mentioned this, I have a hard time just sitting and watching TV. So when Ethan wants to watch a show or a movie or we're watching a baseball game or whatever it might be, I like having something in my hand. Let me untwist here. 
Let's see. Yes, is someone asking why I'm not doing cards? <laughs> I probably missed it. Tomorrow morning, I will be doing some cards bright and early. Well, not super early for me. For Amy, it will be. Amy usually from Hawaii is usually here. <laughs> oh, good, Jen. I'm glad it inspired you to start back up. Um, this method, Jesse, is called the sewing method. And it, I'm stitching in hand. So I don't use hoops. Um, I've had so many questions about that. And no, I do not use hoops. I used to, and I do have a couple, you know, in case I need them for something. But when at all possible, I do not. I like stitching in hand. And I like doing the sewing method. Yeah, this method is so fast, Amber. I That's one of the reasons why I can get so much done. I tried, I, I think that's partly why I got so discouraged when I was working on something on a fabric I didn't like, is I was having to really stitch uh, differently. And I don't, I don't like stitching the traditional way anymore. I like stitching like this. But I did just rip out a whole bunch of my Halloween rules today. Um, Carol says, how do you know where to start or do you start in the center? So I do not start in the center most of the time. Um, there are always a few exceptions. I do have one project that's an exception to that. I used to. I was taught to start in the center. I'm actually going to start a project here in a little bit so I can show you guys how I uh, how I start. I'm literally going to do a new start here on camera. I was going to just see how far I could get on this half of the heart. Yes, Carol, I think that the sleigh ride would be a really uh, great start project. It's pretty simple, it's not super big, I don't think it has a ton of color changes, and it's real cute. I think it'd be really fun. And I think, you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I think they're, they offer a fancy floss pack and maybe DMC. Am I right or wrong about that? Usually they do. They don't always offer all the options. And I have, you know, something else, I shared this a while back. I, I could add it here in a little bit. This project here, they actually just did, um, they offer a little four patch, like four of the bigger motifs. Um, you could do like a little mini pillow. I think that, and it's a little free pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. You can pick any colors of floss that you want just to kind of get into it that would be a great little project too i will link to that because i know i linked to this free the big free pattern but they did do a little mini pattern which i thought was cute and would be a great way to do something similar if you don't want to tackle this big one julia says stitching in hand feels natural i agree um, i have found that it is just Cynthia says, do you use the sewing method on fancy floss? I do. However, I will stitch one square, one little, uh, one cross at a time. Gosh, sorry, you guys. You guys are going to get to see uh, my actual faces when I can't think of my words. Um, yes. Oh, my gosh. Amber says, I just bought all the Halloween rules charge charts wish you luck I'm wishing you lots of luck so I finished um, the eat candy portion of the chart so if you watch my last floss tube I got mad because I messed up the first chart underneath the title and I left it I, I actually left it while I stitched the other chart and so far the only thing I've unpicked is the dog because I didn't think the dog the color I picked the called for colors too light on the fabric I chose. So I am going to restitch the dog. 
I am using a size 26 needle. Um, is it Bronwyn? Probably said that wrong. I'm sorry if I did. 26 bow and needle and I did link the needles that I use in the description down below. Dawn says, I feel like I have more control stitching in hand. So do I. So do I. Fancy Floss Jennifer is, okay, so obviously DMC is probably what a lot of people know. I'm going to show you. I have it here, so I'll just show you real quick. So here is DMC. Oh. Then um, Aura Floss, which is another one I'm using for this, kind is very similar. It's just going to be solid. So the whole thread is going to be the same color throughout. And then Fancy Floss, I will show you guys the Fancy Floss for the Hands-On Design A Year of Celebrations. So... I don't know if this, you can see the variegation. Fancy Floss is like a uh, classic color we, color works. Weeks Dye Works is another one. Um, there's several, but if you can see, there's ver, um, variegation in it. It's very variegated. So you're gonna get a different result with this. Here's the blue, you can see it in that too. So it's just got lots, it's just hand dyed basically. Let me see if there's another good one in here. Looks like maybe the green would show, will show it. Yes. Look at this spinach color. See all the different tones in here? So they suggest you stitch one square at a time so that you really get all that variegation. I hope that answers that. Um, fat quarter has nothing to do, Stacy, with cross stitch. Fat quarter uh, is a term in quilting, but fat quarter shop is a online quilt and cross stitch retailer that I absolutely love. I have uh, been a customer of them for years and years and years. Oh good, Lisa said looked up sleigh ride and she loves it. She wants to do everything. Is that not the, the truth? I literally um, want to do everything as well. <laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, let's see, camping stitcher. I have Christmas rules and only did a little of the topper. Want to get the Halloween rules as well. I am gonna be starting Christmas rules for my Christmas in July stitching. I'm sure it's gonna take me a while to do, but I I just love it. Cassie shared her charts with me and I am loving it. Donna says, when I start my first project, if I learned to stitch in hand, would that be better than the loop than the hoop method, pardon me? I am starting back after a long time being away from it. I, I don't really want to say better. I don't think there's anything wrong with either method. I really feel like it's however, whatever's the most comfortable for you and whatever you think makes your stitches look the best. Um, but I personally love stitching in hand, but it is because I want to do the sewing method. And in a hoop, I, I think some people are able to do the sewing method like in a Q-snap. I don't have a Q-snap, so um, I can't tell you from personal experience, but um, I, I don't know if I could do the sewing method with anything, but I know some people have good, good luck with it. So if you do, let me know in the chat. Oh, good, I said your name perfectly. Thank goodness. I always worry about that. Yes, Dawn said the same thing. She said, do what you're most comfortable with. I definitely second that. Um, Jesse, what is stitch in hand? It's what I'm doing right now. I'm not using an embroidery hoop or a Q-snap to hold my fabric uh, taut while I'm stitching. I am holding it in my hand.
Oh my goodness, Studio L, it was your floss tube first floss tube oh that got me to pull out all of my old cross stitching supplies I hadn't touched in years and start again oh I love that I love it oh my goodness yes I really want to uh jungle but I again I probably said that wrong I really want to stitch glitter village all together as a big project for Christmas but it's a budget killer it is gorgeous I keep looking at it. I know I won't do it this year, but it's on my list of maybe someday. It is gorgeous. I agree. I love it. Cheryl says she might have to get sleigh right now too. I love that you guys are all going and checking it out. It's cute. It's really cute. Pat says she thinks it's easier to get even stitches with stitch in hand. I agree. Cheryl, Cheryl got the Q-snap to start and hopes to move to stitching in hand. I love it. Hello everybody. If you're just joining, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Like I said, this is super informal. <laughs> I just thought if I'm going to stitch anyway, um, I felt like live would probably be easiest to answer the stitching in hand, the um, sewing method, and hopefully, uh, I'm gonna switch, I'm almost done with my half of the heart here. When we move on to stitching on the uh, 25 count Lugana and stitching two over two. Carol says, been doing stitch in hand, but didn't know the name. Yes. Ooh, pretty. And so there's my half of the heart, which is this part of the heart. So I'm so far behind. This is releasing tomorrow. <laughs> but I think if I would just spend a little time, I'm hoping to this weekend. I have a big plan to get all my work done. I have Hero Arts. Um my monthly hero to edit my video for that tomorrow and I have one other video I was it's my list is somewhere else and then I'm spending all weekend cross stitching and quilting huh and doing my floss to video first thing Saturday I'm gonna go ahead and just run my needle here underneath a few stitches on the back since I'm done with my half of the heart and I am going to move on to, I'm going to do a, a start and then I'll, well, should I do the, the uh, maybe I'll do the 25 count Lugana first. Let's do that. I'm just going to go back a few. Okay, I got to move it closer to me. I can't see. I'm so sorry. All right, I promise usually it's not that hard. It's hard when you're trying to keep it on camera. <laughs> Connie says after watching, she's decided to go back to cross stitching. Oh my gosh, she worked in a needlework store for six years in the 90s. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. You are waiting for your order to arrive. I'd love to know what you got. Robin, I agree. I have so many things on my wish list at Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you, Julia. I really like this. Um, so if you didn't catch, I think it might have been my first floss tube. I actually started this in the colors that it called for. I bought the whole thing. And I don't know. I didn't love it. I had actually the entire border stitched and I didn't love it and I didn't think I'd finish it and I'm always really inspired to stitch the season we're in and so I love I like stitching patriotic I also like quilting patriotic stuff and so I thought well I will just try patriotic colors and it was a game changer always remember you can change the colors in anything Oh, Lynn, thank you for hanging out even though you can't cross stitch anymore. Camping Stitcher, I'm kidding up Jingle Bell Cafe. Yes, I'm stitching that too. 
eating ice cream and having a cup of tea and enjoying watching you. That's awesome. I forgot to bring my water in here. I'm realizing now as my throat's dry. Darn it. Um, oh my goodness, Amber, you watched the Mom Elephant Shaker Tags. I love those. Those were fun to make. Amy says, if the pattern calls for 14 count ADA, can you use 11 count and use the calculator? Absolutely. You can always use the calculator. I am a big, big proponent of use that calculator because it's going to spit. You put in the stitch count and the size fabric that you want to use. So in this case, she would you would put 11 and then you put how big of a border you want to leave around it. And it's going to spit out what your finished size is going to be and how big you need to cut your fabric. It has been a game changer for me. Absolute game changer. Oh, Simone says she started stitching again too because she watched. I'm so glad. I really love it. And I love that you can just pick it up again after so much time has passed and, and finish. It's so much fun. I love that. Uh, Joyous in Christ, what do you do to keep your place on your charts? Oh, nothing. I just have to look it up again and figure, or just look at it and figure it out. I don't actually mark mine off. I know some people do. I don't. I wish I had uh, something good to, to tell you there, but I really, really don't. Okay, I am going to just put this away really quick. So I keep everything together. I always, I keep all of my stuff kitted so that I can just grab a project. Um, like if I'm going to go somewhere or if I have to wait in the car or I have to take Ethan's, if I have to go to the doctor's office, whatever it might be, I can just grab a, a bag and have a project to work on. Okay, I am going to do my 25 count Lugana. I'm going to move this for a minute too. Let's just put it here. So this is a big, it's going to be a pretty big project. I don't even know. Let me zoom out just a tiny bit for a minute. Zoom out. There we go. So I have gotten pretty far. I will show you. This is a quilt book, but you do have to, it, the chart is not available individually. So here is what it will look like. And I am here. I'm working kind of on this, mo this big block here. And so that's what we're going to work on. We'll work on that or we'll work on something over here. Something. We'll see what I have. I haven't worked on this for a couple days, so... Let me see. I guess I do have this line keeper, Joyous in Christ. Sometimes I use this to place on my chart. Like, let me grab this one that I can show. So you can, this obviously has not got a ton on it, so I wouldn't use it for this. But you can place a line keeper and it's magnetic and it just slips over your page to keep track. And I do keep this in my book here for this one. This one is my favorite, Liz says yes. It's kind of my favorite too. All right. I need to see where I'm at for this one. Let me zoom back in and figure out where I left off because I kind of forgot. I haven't worked on this for a couple days. I've been working on Halloween, uh, my Halloween rules. I have to get all my things out. Do I have bread already in here? Oh, I do. Never mind. I already have. I must have stopped while I was working on this navy. So same thing as before. Let me just kind of see where I'm at and what I need to do. Of course, the part of the chart I'm at is right in the seam of my book, so it's real convenient. I'm just kidding. It's not. Okay. I feel like I messed up right there. I did. That's awesome. How about we unpick some stuff? Hopefully. Oh my gosh. Let's see. I hope this isn't a super big pain. Two, 
to pick out. Luckily, I didn't stitch a whole lot. Okay, let me see if I'm missing a whole bunch. Amy says Amazon has those bags and they're awesome. Yes, these, oh, okay, I am missing some questions. Oh, good, thank you, Amy. Um, Mrs. Darcy says she uses a highlighter to mark off her stitches. And then Tara says, do you keep one project in each bag or do you put multiple projects in a bag? I only do one project a bag except for my B charts from Primrose Cottage. For those, I um, put all of my B patterns in one bag. All of the floss is the same and I'm using like the same fabric and everything for those and so I just tucked all of those in the same bag but otherwise I just kit one project per bag. If it's going to be like a little series I would put all of them in one bag. I hope that answers that. Leslie says I will be stitching Granita on 25 count Lugana. Oh my gosh that's such a beautiful pattern. I love that. Hopefully your eyes can handle it. Yes. <laughs> Camping Stitcher. I've had spelling bee since it came out and haven't started. I want to now. Oh my goodness. Hello, Christine from Australia. Yes, I love the colorway of this too. Um, all of the colors on this are the called for colors. I bought the color pack. So you can buy this and I did link it in the description below and I am I am doing it. I will show you the one thing I've changed so far. I don't know that I'll change anything else. This is the Cosmo thread pack for the Shine On sampler. And these are the colors. And I'm going to show you the one thing I didn't like and I changed it before I try to figure out where I'm at in this chart. This inside of this block, um, I believe, let me look, yes. So the original color had this little square red. This is the this is the color this was. This was this light pink, orange, and yellow. So the only things I flipped were the light pink and the red. I didn't like the one teeny tiny little red square. I thought it looked off. I like this a lot better. I like where the red's more prominent. I, it just looked funny to me. It always looked funny to me uh, when I looked at the pattern, so I did flip that. That's the only thing that I changed so far. If I see things in a chart that I don't like, then I will um, kind of switch it. Do a little switcheroo. Okay, let me see where I'm at. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. You're going to get to see counting is hard. Yes, I need to do one whole more row down here. Okay, so I'm going to stitch in hand for this one too. And let's just go ahead. Let me see. So this is going to be, I'm going to zoom in just a tiny bit too, I think. So this is 2 over 2. <laughs> Susie, it's the nature of stitching, unpicking. Isn't that the truth? So, so true. Something new to buy, Mrs. Darcy said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Jane says this that um, she saw it. we were talking about keeping track in a chart. She used post-it notes. That's a really good idea. I would do that. Hi, Sue. Oh, my gosh. People are shooting off fireworks. If you weren't here last year for my TED Talk on why we have to shoot off fireworks for an entire week, I'm going to try not to be grumpy about it, but it scares Odin. That's mostly why it makes me grumpy. <laughs> so, 
Cynthia, I am not proud. I have on my bifocals and a high-powered magnifier and lamp per aught light. I need to get some before this next stitch with me. <laughs> Liz, thank you so much for the super chat. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. <laughs> Joyous in Christ, I hope your husband doesn't ban you. Don't buy things if you can't. <laughs> Just come hang out with me. I love when you guys hang out with me. Let me see. All right. I'm hoping. So when we stitched on Ada, for anyone who is unfamiliar... We are stitching over two threads. This time, instead of just kind of that little square and over one thread. So, it's not really called a thread in Ada, Ada but this is 25 count Lugana even weave. And what's lovely is it is very, very even. And so, good, other people are saying fireworks <laughs> bother their dogs too. Hello, Fenella. I'm glad you said hi. Yeah, Lynn says fireworks scare her cat. Mrs. Darcy says it scares her corgis. Yes, and they started last week. I know. It's crazy how early they start. I asked, when can it be over? I was just asking someone the other day. When is, the, when is it banned? Karen, you had to buy some readers to stitch. I think I need to get some too, girl. You have to tell me where you got yours. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Tracy. She says, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Yes, thank you for reminding everyone. Um, Shelly, my old dog he, that's 12, he's still sound asleep. Odin is hiding under my feet. <laughs> yep. So I, I don't, but my old one, I don't think, he doesn't see good. I don't know that he hears that good. <laughs> He's complete, and he's tired. So funny. <laughs> they last all summer in Connecticut. Oh my gosh, no. So, let me get back to this. I am doing the exact same thing. In fact, I didn't plan on doing navy for both, but I guess here we are. I am going to go really slow here and just show you. So, when I'm going to stitch up, I'm going to skip this one and go to this one. That is what two over two is referring to. So I'm always skipping one. So do you see here right in between? I'm skipping this one. And it does take a tiny bit of practice whether you're gonna stitch on an even weave, um, Lugana or a linen, but um, Anna gave me the best advice. She left this wonderful comment. I read it in last week's um, Floss too because it explained it so well. If you can count the threads, we're skipping one. That's what two over two means. If you can learn to count the threads, she said you can stitch on anything, which gives me hope <laughs> for some of those bigger counts. Let's see. Four pack from Amazon. Oh, is it buy one share with friends or do you just stick your readers everywhere that you might be and might need them? <laughs> I love it. I'm going to have to get some. Ooh, Simone says got glasses at Costco picked the highest magnification and they work. I may have to do that. I had LASIK surgery in 2000 four and it's been great but that's been a little bit and I do think that I probably especially in the evening um your eyes are tired or whatever I think that it would help just got the halo go and love it Robin says yeah that's on my wish list it's totally on my wish list oh Shelly says Brutus is a 16 year old and he is a dachshund oh I love doxies. How do you keep your tension right? That's what I struggle with, Scoober says. I think it's just a feel thing. For me, I find that I can do a lot better with stitching in hand. I do think, have you guys noticed some days are better than others? Um, 
But for me, it's really just uh, a feel thing. I think stitching in hand allows me for to feel it a little bit easier. Ooh, Tara says she tried Lugana for the first time and loves it. I love that. Oh, Shelby, I am not sure about any instruments to help um, if you have carpal tunnel. Does anyone else know? Because that would be um, really good information. So Jesse says, when you look at the chart, does it show it as squares? Let me show you the heartfelt chart that we just had. Since I really can't, I can't show a paid for chart, but I can show you the free chart. So here is, here's the, so here's what that, what the first one I was showing you, which you could choose to, to stitch this on a, you know, um, a 28 count or a 25 count or whatever, but this is what the pattern looks like, the full, the finished pattern. And then there are little squares and then they put like little motifs. I personally really love colored charts, black and white. When I have to flip back and forth, like I'm flipping back and forth from the, from the Lizzie Kate to this one and Lizzie Kate's black and white, I'm like, what's that? What's that little thing? But these are really, these are colored. Some of these I think are a little light, but some of them are better than others. But I like they're, that they're colored. So each square is going to translate to a square here. I hope that answers that. Amber Wave says, it looks like you're going straight up and down. Uh, when I'm coming back, I sure am. And I guess when I'm going too. So I'm crossing over and then I want to come up for the next one. And again, this is the sewing method, so I don't go to the back side of my fabric. I need to look at my chart. I'm afraid I'm going to just be stitching here and not pay attention. I think we can just go ahead and go over here, though. Two Amber has two doxies. Oh, I love it. Cynthia says she thinks you can get a pair of gloves that are stiff and they help with carpal tunnel. Oh my goodness, that's good to know. Shelly says that she has a chihuahua and the chihuahua comes out more as she is probably three years younger than Brutus. Oh. Uh, Jungle Beria says I have a dorky, a dachshund, and a yorkie mix. Oh, I love puppies. I seriously have been watching a lot of little puppy like videos on Instagram and Facebook. They make me happy. Hi, Marlene. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Let me see. I'm trying to keep track and stitch. It's hard. Helena says, I just bought my first linen fabric for some really cute Primrose Cottage Christmas ornaments. Oh, I just love Primrose Cottage. Don't you guys? So good. You can do it. You can do it, I promise. Julie says several years ago, someone told her that when it's time to get readers, get a pair for every room in the house, including the bathroom. <laughs> I love that. Liz says, just make sure you wear brace gloves while you stitch for support with the carpal tunnel. That is great. This really is quicker to cross stitch this way, Sue says. Um, yes. Okay. So Jesse, this, I am going to only do two over two. Now, if you wanted a super, super tiny stitch, and this is where I'm going to go the other direction. I can't remember who mentioned it earlier that they said that they were taught to go right to left. So I am going to go right to left just to show you because it's the same thing. Just the other direction. Now I'm also not stitching one square at a time because this is, oh whoops, that was wrong. I hate when that happens. Darn it. Um, of course. I'd like to say it's because I'm live, but no, it's not. This happens when I'm just stitching away, watching TV, or floss tube more likely. 
there's not been anything really good on TV. Maybe it's just me. Jane says she colors her colors her black and white charts so she can read them more easily. That's a great idea. I should really I, I can't do that uh, with the one charts because they're not mine, but <laughs> and they're small. Honestly, they are not that bad. I am just being dramatic. I've gotten really spoiled with all these colored charts. Like Fat Quarter Shop does colored charts and Primrose Cottage does colored charts. Oh, wasn't I going to cross all of these all at once? Oh, you guys, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. I just love puppies. You guys are talking about all the puppies. I love it. Christine says, just ordered the Bonnie and Camille book from Fat Quarter Shop. It's so good. Not only that, I totally want to make some of the quilts in there. There's a couple that are on my wish list. I'm just going to go ahead and do, I think, one square at a time going this way. Lindsay says, crocheting along with me. That is awesome. Crochet is one thing I do not know how to do. Well, I'm, there's lots more than just one thing. There's lots of things I don't know how to do but I've never learned. I've used to watch, we had a really good fam family friend who crocheted. Shelly says, on a groove and don't like to stop, yes. When I'm just going, I can go. But sometimes I think I know best. Do you guys do that too? Like, oh, I know what the chart is. And I don't need to look at it. And sure enough, I do not stitch it correctly. I mean, every single time. I swear. So this is basically the same thing. I will do a few more stitches on this. Yes, Julia, I agree. That's why we watch Floss Tube. There is nothing. I just really haven't watched a whole lot good. Oh, thanks, Shelly. Dawn says, loves crocheting and knitting. I will have to learn from you. Susie's working on a needlepoint stocking along with me. That's awesome. That is so fun. Yes, it is. For this, it is two over two. I know some people, um, I have... I have never personally stitched one over one. I could show you on some a scrap of something sometime. I mean, I know in theory you wouldn't skip that. Um, so I'm skipping a thread every time, basically leaving a little hole in between. So skipping a thread. Um, I have seen some floss tubers stitch one over one, and it is going to make your design super teeny tiny. It's beautiful. It's super cute. And generally, uh, they're going to stitch one over one, not two over one. Uh, two over one or two over two refers to two, you're using two strands of two strands of floss over two threads. One over one is one strand of floss over one thread because two would make it really, really thick. I hope that makes sense. Um... A lot of it is just, you know, cross-stitch jargon you pick up, I guess. Oh my gosh, Lynn, I'm so impressed. She, uh, she says slow stitch an English paper piece and she made a king size quilt all by hand. That is incredible. I am so, so impressed. see. Oh, that's fun. Dawn says she has hand stitched quilts too. Julie says I'm working on a project that reads I'm not old. I'm mid-century modern. Oh my gosh. I love it. 
I love it. Yes, paper piece quilts are so beautiful. There are so many things that are just eye candy, truly. Okay, let me see where I'm supposed to be here. Because we need to... I'm going to stitch just a little bit more, and then I am going to show you a start before we close out for tonight, I guess. Let you guys go. It's probably, it's getting, it's probably really late for East Coast. Well, 10. It's 9 here. Yeah, anyone who does um, the English paper piecing and stitches all of that by hand. I am so, so impressed. I am completely self-taught as far as quilting goes. Um, not sewing wise, my grandmother and my mom, my mom sews too, but my grandmother was a, an amazing seamstress. And so she sewed, but she, I think I've mentioned this a lot, but she sewed clothing. But what's funny is my mom's sister, my aunt, when she retired from teaching, she picked up quilting. So it's kind of funny. She and I will talk every once in a while because she quilts now. And then I taught myself to quilt. She taught herself to quilt. I don't know. Kind of funny. Bonnie says I'm cutting all the pieces for my first quilt. Okay, do you, I'm going to let you in on a secret cutting the pieces for the quilts my favorite part what is wrong with me <laughs> oh my gosh I love cutting up fabric for a quilt I love piecing it too it's just when the pieces get so super huge that I stop loving it well that's not true I still love it it's just such it's so much more to hold on to Joyce and Christ, what is English paper piecing? Somebody who is a little bit more knowledgeable than me, can you answer that? Because I don't feel like I will give a very good answer. Sally says one of her grandmothers taught her to hand stitch quilt blocks and the other taught her to crochet. Oh, I love that. Dawn says she loves tatting and feels like it is a lot. I don't know how to do that either, um, but she feels like it's a lost art. I almost feel like cross stitch kind of went by the wayside for a while and it's made a huge resurgence here in the last few years. And maybe some of these other hobbies will as well. I don't know, um, but maybe. I'm starting to run out of floss. I mean, I still have quite a or not quite a bit, but I have some left. Does anyone else play floss, chi floss chicken? So I was finishing up a border and I literally had two stitches to connect the box and I couldn't make the floss stretch. I tried, I was so mad, so mad. Cheryl says, learn to quilt from library books. No internet back then. And isn't that the truth too? So I kind of learned before, before there were so many YouTube videos, I would say. Um, but blogs, I read blogs. And that's how I learned, which the internet is a wonderful thing. I mean, we can learn so many more things so easily now. All right, I'm gonna go back here and then I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna show you a very, very quick start just so I can show you how to start a project since these were both already started projects. I love floss chicken. <laughs> yes, thank you, Cynthia. All right, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and finish, or just run this under. I feel like when I come back to this, I'll just get a new, longer piece of floss. No floss chicken on this one, okay? That totally didn't hit the trash can. Darn it. <laughs> I literally just vacuumed and cleaned up in here wonder how many of those little pieces 
So it's coming along. It's just a lot of little stitches. I still haven't filled in these windows. <laughs> we'll see if by the time I film Floss 2 um, Saturday morning, if, if I have those windows filled in. Let me see. Lindsay says, learn to crochet on YouTube. Yes. Uh, learned a lot of card making techniques. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, Shelly, I grew up with no Wi-Fi, no cable, no internet. You know what? My kids think it's crazy. So I grew up, I grew up on a farm. And of course, we did not have internet back in the, back in the old days, is what they think. And, um, but we did not have like satellite dish or cable. We didn't have cable. We didn't have a satellite dish until I was like, I want to say a junior or senior in high school. We just didn't watch that much TV. I had the three main channels and that is all we had. And people always thought it was so weird. Even the kids I went to school with and I was like, it's probably why I don't watch a lot of TV now, to be honest, because I just don't. I didn't grow up watching a lot of TV. Jane says, really missed the framing surfaces the cross stitch stores offered. So I know, I've heard, I've seen it several places. I've even seen some people mention it in other Floss 2 videos that there is a really good store here and I have not even gone yet, but I am gonna take, I have a couple things I wanna take and see if they'll frame and I'm sure I'll shop it up when I'm there too, so I'll let you guys know, but I'm kind of excited. Oh, grandbaby number nine, Yvette. Oh, congratulations. That is so awesome. All right, the last thing I thought I would do tonight was show you how I start a project. This is, let me get exactly what we've got here. This is some 25 count Lugana as well. This is the color Prim. It's vintage cloth by Lori Holt. I am using this for, I'm gonna take it out of the plastic and I need to zoom out again. You guys getting to see me do all of this, you don't see it usually when I have card making when I flip to my hands, but let's see. This is the Hands-On Design Season 2 A Year of Celebrations, and I was excited. That quarter shop asked me if I wanted to uh, stitch along year long with them, and I said yes. Um, so I'm excited about that, but I'm getting started. So that is what I bought this fabric for, and this is what we're going to start tonight, but I'm going to start and we're going to stitch the, the frame for this. So you can finish them all individually, which is super cute, or you can finish them as one big piece, which is what I'm going to do. I wanted it as one piece, and I did put this down in the description. You can download the free frame for this at Hands On Design if you wanna do this as well. And the other thing I wanted to mention is I am using Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop's floss pack. That was what I was showing. I'm using her colors. Hands On Design has a color pack. And then, and this is gonna be the floss for the entire project, which is what I, I like having it all together. I didn't have to go pick and choose. I just bought the floss pack. Um, so I bought Kimberly's. So Hands On Design has their colorway. You can choose, you can mix, you know, you can pick your own colors, whatever you wanna do. Then um, they do give you what colors go where for that. So I'm excited. I'm gonna start with July. It is starting here in July, the Stitch Along with Fat Quarter Shop. Or you can stitch along with me too if you want. But the frame is going to be in the Classic Colorworks Tropical Paradise. I love this color so much, <laughs> so much. So I am gonna show you some fancy floss stitching too. Not only are we gonna start but we are gonna stitch one little square at a time. It's really so easy. Um, but starting tends to be the thing. I've, I've had quite a few questions about this as well. So I mentioned earlier, I used to start, every time I started a project, I'd start in the center, which 
was hard. I thought it was hard. Um, that was always some, one of the things that deterred me from starting a project back in the day. So that would be where you took your piece of fabric and I did figure out what size fabric I needed using the cross stitch calculator, which I have linked back below. You would fold it in half, you'd fold it in half, you know, you'd find your center and start in the center. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to start in the corner. So I plugged into the cross stitch calculator that I want to have a two inch border, although, whoops, let's move this down. Let's actually do this corner where you guys can see it better. Um, I want to have a two inch corner. Obviously I have a grid mat here, which I could do that as well. Let's do this because I'm going to start in this corner. This is a cross stitch key that you can get at Fat Quarter Shop. I think you can get it other places as well, or just use a ruler, whatever. So it's going to give you, like you can line it up in the corner. And I know this is two inch. If I'm leaving a two inch border, if I want to leave a two and a half inch border, I I left, I left I give myself a little bit more room when I cut my fabric because I'm always nervous that I'm going to cut it too small. You can, you know, do whatever. I'll probably just leave it here at the two and a half. And this right here is where I'm going to start. I hope that makes sense. Let me know. I'm going to grab a needle and thread this. Cheryl says Craftsy has some great videos for free, really. Um, I actually did a Craftsy. I filmed a class for Craftsy once upon a time. And then I have taken a couple quilting classes from there. Um, I took Camille Ross Kelly's and Joanna Figueroa's. I love those classes. Sometimes I still watch them. I have them on in the background. I love them. Jeanette says she just ordered that. Oh, I'm so glad. How fun. I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be really, really a cute project. All right. I got my two strands of floss. I've got my needle. We're going to try to pinch it and get it through. Oh, no. Not going to work. We got lots of fireworks going off. It sounds like it's right next door, but I don't know that it is. It might be. All right. So now that I, Sally, I really only started this maybe a few weeks ago, like almost, maybe about almost two months. I started sharing this publicly. I've been um, kind of crazy behind the scenes for a while, like cross stitching, quilting, doing all the things. But then I thought, oh, I'll just share for fun. And I really love it. Yes, Amy, I don't like starting in the middle ever. Um, I There's only one project and I had to start in the middle. Um, just the way this chart was designed, you really, really have to. Uh, but out of any project I have done in the last couple years, I've not started in the middle. So let's go ahead and figure out this. We're going to do this little square up here. And I will tell you, I'm not super, super picky. But I'm just going to put my needle in. I'm going to make myself. And we will just come up from the bottom. Linda says Craft sees how she made her first quilt. I love that. Um, let's see. Nicole, what do you do with all your finished projects? Do you ever feel overwhelmed since you're constantly making? Um, so finished projects, I do try to finish. I have a couple things I have not. One second while I try to make sure that I can count my threads and I start correctly. Um, I really try, I guess, to keep everything organized. That helps me feel not quite so overwhelmed. My whole goal with this is to not be overwhelmed. This is to do things that are fun. I do have some things I need to 
finished. Like I stitched it and it's sitting and I have some old things I never finished. But that's why there's some really great channels like Java Girl Stitches or Stitching with the Housewives that show you some different ways to finish other than a uh, frame piece, which there's nothing wrong with framing either. But I like that they're showing some different ways. Let me make sure that I don't mess this up. Hold up. Um, I just... I think I will probably finish some things like that. And there are some things I want to get framed as well. Um, I guess my whole goal is to not be overwhelmed. So if I don't want to go get it framed right this minute, I just keep it nice and safe until I can get to there. My whole goal with, with cross stitch, with quilting, is to just not be overwhelmed and to keep it organized Oh man, I do need some readers, friends. Real bad. Sometimes starting is hard. <laughs> I wanted to keep show you because so you could see that, you know, when you start, it can be hard, but then it usually gets a little easier. But my goal is to have this little frame, have this frame all stitched and then stitch up July, because I think July is when we're starting. Let's see. Cheryl never starts in the middle, starts in the bottom right and works up. Yes, she's a lefty and that's easier. I've also heard a bunch of righties say they start at the bottom and work up too. Um, I keep meaning to try that just to see. I'm kind of curious. Oh my gosh, Dawn, that's awesome. Mandy says she pulled out all of her old fabric. She adores Riley Blake, Lori Holt, Bonnie and Camille. Found so mo many jelly rolls and layer cakes. Oh my gosh. Oh, you found scrumptious. That, you did score. I love that line. Didn't everybody? <laughs> I have the tiniest little piece of what my favorite fabric from that, and I think I finally used it here not too long ago. I just kept holding on to it and holding on to it. July is tomorrow. Can anyone even believe that? I probably, I keep thinking it's like several days away and it's totally not. Okay, so we need to, I'm gonna go, let's go down, shall we? Let's do. One. I just kind of poke, I don't know if you could see me doing that, but I just kind of poke my needle through the holes when I'm counting to go when I need to skip some. Ooh, it's really getting dark. I, Even though I have my studio lights on, I don't know. Readers, it's going to be. That needs to be what I go look for. Sandy always starts in the middle and goes in all directions. And that's the thing. Do what works for you, for sure. I just wanted to show, because this is something I've had a lot of people ask. And starting in the middle used to stress me out. But my mom, and I know I was talking to my mom about this, and she starts in the middle still, so... Jane says using a waist knot for starting. Yeah, I've never done that. Jennifer says, will you zoom in for a minute? I sure can. Is that too close or just right? You let me know. Sally, this is the first time I have done this live, and I don't think I probably will do it every week, but I will try to do this fairly frequently. Yvette says, finally gave in and got some readers. I need to. I can tell I need to. I am putting it off.
Yeah, if you guys will have to let me know if you um, if you like doing or having like little Stitch With Me lives, I would be happy to do them every once in a while where we can just kind of stitch and chat. Yes, Luna, I agree. Let me see. There is one, two, three, four. Does anyone else do that too? Where you just kind of count and count? I'm going to come up from the bottom. Because it never fails. Oh, good. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. It is fun hanging out with everyone. I thought it might be kind of fun because I always just stitch by myself. Kind of like I always card make by myself. So I love and I look forward to our Friday mornings um, so that we can kind of all hang out together. So same thing here. <laughs> Cheryl says her friend has a collection of, of readers in different colors for outfits and she has them everywhere. Oh, that's funny. Amber says she loves. It. Oh, thank you guys. You're so nice. Yeah, I love to hang out too. I agree, Simone. Jennifer says thanks. I, so I hope that that was zoomed in enough for everybody. Okay, Julie says, I think you missed it when I posted earlier. You were starting this project and it would be fun to have a Zoom stitch along. That way we could actually chat. I agree. I will see. So I'm horrible with Zoom. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm sure it's not even hard. But I do think that would be kind of fun. I agree. I'll see if I can figure that out. Oh, thank you, Jane. That's so nice of you. Uh, Lynn Lori Holt designs for Riley Blake and she has so many amazing things I am doing two over two on this one Jennifer I hope you can so I am skipping a thread right I'm skipping a thread. I know it's so hard to see. Let me see if I can do it nice and slow. So here is where this, the bottom of this square, do you see my, there's my needle. There's the bottom of this square. I am going to skip this guy and go to the one right underneath. That's where I'm going to come up. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> again, why I like the sewing method is so my hand isn't under here getting caught. All right, so here's the bottom of this one. We're going to skip this thread, and we're going to go down to the one right under it, and that's where we're going to come up. Liz goes, I like YouTube. I don't have to take my mus messy bun out. So I literally put on makeup for this. Just a little, not a lot. Mostly so I didn't look quite so bad. I jumped in the shower after Ethan and I did our yard work. And of course it was so hot. So I had to, I was disgusting. Yes, Sally, I know it's probably late for a lot of you. In fact, I'm going to wrap this up here in a little bit. This this will just live on YouTube. You can catch it whenever you want. Oh, if you want or if you don't want to, I'm sure a lot of 
people will be like, what in the world is this? But um, <laughs> yes, no, definitely don't feel like you have to hang out the whole time. It will be here and you can catch the rest of it. Uh, Joyous and Christ, what is an example of a stitch fabric that is not even weave? Okay, I probably don't have a ton. I don't have any right here. Um, I will try to remember to bring that either. I'll try to do that for floss tube. Let me make myself a note because I'm sure. Oh, I know I have one. I ha it would be like a linen. Um, let me just make a note. Not even weave because I ha I am. I made out my plans for the next floss tube and that's a great thing. I will definitely show that joyous in Christ. Jane says I also have a Zoom account. I maybe do. I've used Zoom two times. Three. Maybe three. <laughs> Amber goes, I feel that bake up thing so hard. Yeah. Well, I so I wash my face before I go outside. I don't feel the need to have it all sweat off. Let's see. One, two, three. Whoa. Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I need to do one more of these. Uh, so then I thought, I don't really want to come on here and have something live on <laughs> that looks super scary. <laughs> Good night, Sally. Linda, I think Lugana is all even weave. I would have to look that up for sure. Anything I have is, I, th I think it is, but I'm not for sure. Um, Cheryl, the pillow tutorial. So it's just, it was delayed. I was going to have it up a little earlier this week, but, um, I actually had a couple of last minute things happen work wise and I did not, but it is going to go up Saturday morning. It's scheduled. It's ready to go. I did. I scheduled it today. Um, oh, that's awesome. Carol said she did them, did zoom meetings with her tatting ladies. Wow, that was a loud one. Can you guys hear the fireworks through this? I always wonder. 6 a.m. does come fast. Honestly, it's about my bedtime as well. I am just going to stitch a couple more little stitches here, and then I will see if there's anything I need to answer. Starting is always the hardest part for me. I need to, I'm sure this will be when I get on a roll, it'll be fine. I'm excited to have the frame for this all ready to go though. And then each month I can just fill in with each little motif. I think they're so cute. You heard that one, Luna. Okay, you guys all heard it. Yeah, it literally sounded like it was right outside the door or window, whatever. It sounds like something fell. No, fireworks. Happy June 30th, apparently. Oh, man. I have thoughts, but I don't think we're going to spread my negativity for that here. <laughs> All right, I started. It's a very, very tiny start, and it's... A little hard to see in real life it's so pretty but I don't think it looks as pretty on screen I'm just gonna stick my needle in here all right <laughs> boom this is Darcy said yes <laughs> yes I know I'm sorry about the pillow tutorial it really really meant to have that I'm gonna flip my camera around and I'm also going to close out this um, I meant to have it up earlier this week. I had two last minute things happen this week and it just, I, if I had to edit one more video, I thought I was going to scream. So I did it. I put it up and scheduled it today. It's really easy. I hope the, I hope it is helpful. I don't know where the first half of the year has gone, Dawn. I really don't. So crazy. Yeah, okay, good. Tara says, holy cow, that was loud. It was loud. So loud. You get uh, stitching and uh, 
fireworks show here, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I should open the blinds and see if we can see anything. Although this is out the back, so probably not. I'm sure they're doing it out front. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer anything I can. Oh, there we go again. Um, happy to answer them. Definitely drop them in the comments. I will try to add them to my floss tube video for Saturday, or that will be Sunday that I film on Saturday. Um, don't forget, I do have giveaways on my last floss tube that close out um, tomorrow night so I can pick winners. And uh, if you're going to be here for card making in the morning, I will see you then. I'm super excited about tomorrow's card. And uh, until, until next time, happy stitching. Good night, everyone. Bye.